Spin by Eva Plays Dead. If you didn't listen closely to the lyrics, go back and have another listen. Welcome to another Music Future session filmed at Nottingham's Answer to Maida Vale, Confetti's Space 2 Studios. We have an interview with the band on the way. First, another song. And I feel start with the classic so Eva plays dead how did you guys yeah. meet oh my gosh me and Matt went to Japan together 10 years ago that's a good start not together, that's not actually, a boring no. start so we, we technically went together but I didn't like him because he was at the time he was like really arrogant and I was a little bit kind of chavvy and sporty and I thought oh is that weird goth guy over there so we were 15 and we got chose to go on a school excursion away to Japan and we went and when you're on an airplane for 16 hours, you have to kind of talk to somebody. We <laughs> both came back. Okay. And he was starting a band and I said, I'm a singer, let me come sing for you guys. So we did. And then we kicked the rest of this band because this was like a 15 year old. We were like, we want to do it. And yeah. they, they weren't interested. We found um, Zach on MySpace because, you know, MySpace was a thing then. He came to practice and then he already knew Seb from school. So Seb came along. And then we just started, for a few years, we just got to know each other as a group of people. Um, and I think that's really important is when you start a band, just knowing who you're playing with and kind of music they're into and kind of, you know, how they play and their styles. We did that for a few years and then we decided to create Eva Plays Dead in 2013. And that's when we started to become like a serious, serious band. When did you first think, <laughs> we're all right? You can think you... You can think you're good, but I think what really shows that you're good is the fact when people come out and see you. Like we were pretty much a you know an unknown band, and we went on tour and we were selling out like small venues. And you know for an unknown band that was uh, in, insane. And then the venues got bigger, and 
you get asked to do bigger support slots and you get asked to do bigger tours and all of a sudden you've got this incredible fan base and people are getting tattoos of you and how do Eva play dead songs come into the world um, we have our own practice space um, that we we can go to at any time mm -hmm. so we are very it's not one of these where we sit in a studio let's do this and we have someone else come in who produces everything it, it doesn't work like that for us we're just a loud band and we write what we feel is good at the time. What's the most embarrassing story you've shared in a song? Oh, there's loads. I'm, I'm too open. Mm -hmm. Everyone always tells me you need to stop. Needs to, need to just... It's amazing what people share in a lyric that you would never oh. share in a normal conversation, but the moment it's in a song. Oh, yeah. So which one should... Uh, they're watching this at home. They've fallen in love with you as a band. Which, which song should they go and Google to find out about some mischief? I, I can't say because it's a bit too 18+. plus. If you, if you watch the spin video... Well, that's a pretty strong hint. Yeah, watch the spin video. You won't tell us the song, but watch the video for spin. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. You can find out more about Eva Plays Dead online and check out our other 162 future sessions at our YouTube channel, Feel the Music. If you're a musician yourself, make sure you also check out our advice videos. And these songs will be going out in full on Knots TV very soon. We end, as always, on a spread the love note. Please, Eva Plays Dead, your three favourite Nottinghamshire musicians we should all check out. Heck, Fast Cards, Florence and Black Ink.